Welcome back to day 25 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're talking about a legendary film that redefined the werewolf genre. An American Werewolf in London, released in 1981. How's it hanging? I'm David Pumpkins, and I'm gonna scare the hell out of you. This movie is a fucking masterpiece of horror and comedy, blending brutal, gory werewolf carnage with some seriously twisted humor. And let's not forget, it gave us one of the most iconic transformation scenes in horror history. So the story follows David, your typical American backpacker, just trying to enjoy a trip across the moors of England until he and his buddy Jack get attacked by a werewolf. Jack's dead and David gets cursed to become a werewolf at the next full moon. Sounds simple, right? <laughs> you did wrong. But what makes this movie stand out is how director John Landis plays with tone. One minute, you're laughing at the absurdity of David's dead best friend showing up as his decaying corpse giving him life advice. And the next, you're wincing at the brutal reality of his transformation into a werewolf. Now, let's get into this transformation scene. If you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This scene is the reason American Werewolf became legendary. The practical effects, mind-blowing. No CGI, no shortcuts, just pure painstaking detail effects. Rick Baker, the genius behind the makeup and creature effects, went all out to make sure you felt every agonizing second of Davis turning into a werewolf. We're talking bone snapping, skin stretching, muscles contorting. It's visceral as hell and it still holds up today. And yeah, that scene won Rick Baker the first ever Academy Award for Best Makeup in 1982. The transformation set the gold standard for practical effects and horror, and it hasn't been topped since in my opinion. It's one thing to watch someone become a werewolf, but it's another to feel the pain of it. This movie nails that in a way no other werewolf film has. But it's not just the horror that makes American Werewolf in London so damn memorable. The movie was one of the first to blend horror and comedy in a way that actually worked. You got these genuinely funny moments like David trying to deal with his weird dreams and an undead friend mixed with brutal werewolf attacks that don't hold back on the gore. The film doesn't take itself too seriously, can I have a piece of toast? Get the fuck out of here, Jack. But it also knows when to hit you with some real terror. One of the best parts? Jack's undead character showing up, getting more decayed and fucked up each time he appears. It's both hilarious and grotesque. Classic dark humor. Oh, be serious, would you? And David's reaction? He's like, What kind of fuck you give me? What? As Jack casually tells him he needs to die to stop the curse. The dark comedy elevates the horror, making the emotional stakes higher without losing its twisted sense of fun. And the scenery and cinematography of the film? Perfect. You got this contrast between the isolated airy moors where the story begins and the crowded unsuspecting streets of London where shit really hits the fan. The final werewolf rampage in the middle of the city is chaotic, bloody, and brilliant. Bottom line, an American werewolf in London is a must watch for horror fans. It's got everything. A killer blend of horror and humor, groundbreaking practical effects, and a story that manages to be both terrifying and hilarious. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out on one of the best horror comedy hybrids ever made. To be so angry, I feel the chains coming! <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.